all right everybody come on in come on in thank you all so much for being here for anybody new here hi i am maggie your substitute teacher i'd like to welcome you back to another dining documentary you all may know me for my cooking channel i'm all about food and femininity and i always say i love helping feminine women just like y'all attract and keep the masculine man of your dreams and we had a wonderful big weekend i'm still like pinching myself is it real we had our first annual maggie lou meetup graduation weekend tea party for the ladies it was as linda would say phenomenal if i could say so myself I'm so grateful and humbled that the ladies have trusted me in this last year to begin their femininity journey with elegance and etiquette, and I wanted to celebrate them. So I have got a lot of content. I haven't been streaming for a while. Maybe you all saw me and Lucy pop up, but sit back and relax. Today, I'm going to take you all on a dining documentary to a fast food restaurant that you probably already know. Chick-fil-A is actually headquartered here in Atlanta. Lots of companies are headquartered here in Atlanta. So I'll give you all a little bit of story time and then we're going to take a look at the Chick-fil-A Dwarf House. If you didn't know, now you know. All right, so let's see who we have here and then we will get started. Oh, excuse me, let's start with TikTok. They are always coming in hot. Hello, Rose Petals, uh, Will T, Brenda Bell, Yonda42, Murmur. Bruce Tyler, uh, Melissa Saustry, Mad Lion user living in Atlanta. Hello, Valerie Reed, Wanda Gundy, uh, Lady Liv, Bobby Dunn, Lisa P, Sandra Wilson, Evelyn Yahi, Sylvia, Helen, user Betty, user Dollar Me, Gloria, and Trisha. Thank you all so much for being here. All right. And on Instagram, I see Cordell is here, Henrietta is here, Denzel is here. So blessed is here. Um, Fem Gems is here. Hello, my dear. Fem Gems is with, was with us this weekend. We've got girly chick and material girl. A material, a material, a material world. I'm still, I've been talking a lot, but all good. A little bit raspy, y'all know, but uh, it's going to be fine. All right, let's see who we have over here. We have Linda Kelly in the house. Linda was with us this weekend as well. And Veggie Veggie, one of my day one subscribers, says, greetings, Maggie and chat. Been a long time, Veggie. We've missed you. Glad to see you here. Okay. Hello, Lonnie. All right, so let me give you all a little bit of context, and we're just going to be recapping. So you always hear me say Luke Kaisley and I teach the finishing school for the modern woman, which is an eight week online finishing school that we teach for ladies. I say of all ages, but now that we're going to do the kids this summer, let's say 16 to 60 plus, uh, because I started my femininity journey years ago for my own personal reasons. And I wanted to share it with those ladies who are interested in being the best version of themselves. If you believe in traditional gender roles. So Lucy and I have te have taught two sessions. We had a fall 2023 and we had a winter 2024. And so we would we would meet once a week. It's a Saturday school. The ladies from all over the country would dial into a private Zoom and then we had a curriculum, we had workbooks and we were really building our own little private community. I thought it was lovely and the ladies enjoyed it. We have Tunisia in the house here. She says, "Hello. Hello sweetheart. My first time seeing you. Welcome." Okay, so we were trying to figure out how can we put together some type of in-person component because, you know, a lot of online courses and they're great. I've taken them. When you um, complete your studies, you get like a digital certificate, right? It just kind of automatically spits one out. But Lucy and I really wanted to make something um, tangible that the ladies could have as well as um, put into practice what we had been teaching them, your soft skills, networking, small talk, dining etiquette, high tea, all of the things that we had been teaching them in their refinement journey, we wanted to have an in-person component. So that's what this weekend was. 
so many more uh, streams to come. Save the date for tomorrow night at 9 p.m. Eastern. Lucy and I will recap our formal dinner at Maggiano's. Okay, so I'm in Atlanta. The event was here in Atlanta. Lucy flew in from Atlanta, I'm sorry, from Sacramento, and she brought this for me. So shout out to California. Just got back, but anyway, uh, this is a little... Um, what is it? Souvenir. Thank you, Lucy. Celeste says, I love your recipes, Auntie. Can't wait to see what other content you come up with. Thank you. No cooking probably this week. I probably need to be fasting because I enjoyed myself, but thank you, my dear. Okay. So Lucy flew in and I wanted to take great care of her. So I actually rented an Airbnb about five minutes from my house so she could have the whole house to herself with two other ladies, the very young, like 18 and early 20s. Um, I'm a mom and I feel very protective of my ladies. So I wanted to make sure they were good. So I told Lucy, you don't lift a finger. I will be your door-to-door -door service. I've taken care of everything. I will pick you up from the airport. I will drive you everywhere. I will provide all of the supplies that you need. And I'll make sure you have, you know, a comfortable space, your own king suite with bathroom and all of that. Some of you all saw the, um, the reel. Okay. We got Christine in the house. She says, hi, hon. I stay busy, y'all. I don't really sit down very much. Maybe that's a problem, but I got a lot of energy and I, love it. I like to be productive with it. So that's just always been me. <laughs> Ask Nana. She'll tell you some of the ladies know what I'm talking about. Yeah, it was very nice. All right. Hello, prime time. Okay. So Lucy flew in the red eye last week, Thursday, overnight, which means she left California, just like me, around 11 p.m. West Coast time. And with the time change and the four-hour flight, she arrived here on the East Coast around 7 a.m. And uh, by the time she made her connection and luggage, it was about 9 a.m. So when I picked Lucy up Friday morning, she had been traveling all night. And so I wanted to make sure and get her to her space, let her relax and refresh because Friday night was the first night of our weekend. It was a Friday, Saturday, Sunday event. Friday was the Maggie Lou meetup. It was a happy hour at Eclipse de Luna, open to the public. We were just gonna eat, drink, and be merry. So my plan was to pick up Lucy and uh, a couple other ladies. I tried to coordinate all the flights around the same time and take them to the Airbnb so they could rest for the day because our evening started at 4.30. So as we were leaving the airport, Lucy mentioned, and I should have planned for this, she was hungry. <laughs> Shocker. She had been traveling all night and we were looking at the time and it was like, 10 10 east coast time and you know most like grab and go places stop serving breakfast around 10 30 or 11. so we were on the interstate and i'm driving to her airbnb and when she said she was hungry i was like oh my goodness we got to get you something to eat and i just happened to look at the next exit i said the next exit that i see i'll just go ahead and pull off and whatever's there will grab something and my plan was to pick up something for her and take her to the airbnb so she could eat shower take a nap whatever she wanted to do we just happened to exit off of jonesboro road here in atlanta in forest park area if y'all know closer to the airport leaving the airport and it said chick-fil-a dwarf house and i was like oh Oh my goodness, I've got to take you inside. Um, there are a lot of companies that are headquartered here in Atlanta. Coca-Cola, UPS, Delta, Chick-fil-A, um, oh my gosh, Longhorn Steakhouse, Waffle House. Uh, now I've heard Mercedes-Benz has moved here. We have a huge um, college cohort here. Uh, film studios are moving here now. There's a lot going on in the city. Um, and with that comes a lot of new stuff and transplants. But, you know, those of us that kind of grew up in the South, we remember some of the um, some of the nostalgic moments. So what am I talking about? You all probably know Chick-fil-A, the fast food restaurant that you can drive through. You get your chicken sandwich, your waffle fries and all of that. Well, the owner of Chick-fil-A, Truett Cathy, actually created a sit down dine in with real serveware, real plates and silverware and real cups, um, not just the paper and plastic that you're used to with most fast food. In addition to that, they have additional item 
menu items that you can't get on the regular Chick-fil-A menu. When I was coming up, you could get a T-bone steak. Thank you for the likes on TikTok. You can get it. You could get a T-bone steak, carrot salad. They have fried okra, basically like a full service restaurant in addition to Chick-fil-A. All right. So I'm going to do a dining documentary. Hello, uh, ALSX. Hello, Shania. And hello, sweet potato pie. So I'm going to do a dining documentary. Hello, Vani. Thank you so much for being here of the Chick-fil-A Dwarf House. For any of you all who've never been, who didn't even know this was a thing, Lucy thought it was absolutely charming and darling. She had never been. And so I took her inside and we sat down and we had, I guess you could say brunch, but it was excellent. We have Angelina FL, 24, maybe you're in Florida. My first time seeing you here. Welcome. <laughs> she says, I was there today getting cherry berry drunk. It released this weekend. So just so everybody knows, because we are a happy, wholesome, family-friendly channel. Um, Chick-fil-A, like a lot of fast food restaurants, has seasonal beverages. So they may have uh, peach flavored, uh, something they just came out with. Now they have cherry flavored. Um, I think it's the sun joy. If you're familiar with the Arnold Palmer, half lemonade, half sweet tea, that's what we call it in the South. Um, they have different flavors that are seasonal. They may have like a shamrock shake or something like that or whatever, um, around St. Patty's day peppermint stuff in the winter and the Christmas time. Y'all know how it goes. Hello, D-Ray. So I know you are enjoying. Absolutely. Y'all love Chick-fil-A? Okay. So what we do on a dining documentary is I am going to pull up the website. We'll learn a little bit about it. And then we'll use the second half to look at my actual pictures and just kind of tell you all what I ate. I would love to know for those of you all who like Chick-fil-A, what is your go-to meal? What is your favorite? I am a spicy chicken sandwich combo. I know. Now I'm your substitute teacher because I cook with sugar substitutes, dairy substitutes, and gluten substitutes. But when I'm not cooking, I'm in the kitchen. I like to eat everything. Obviously, clearly it's a problem. Um, but I like the um, spicy chicken sandwich with either Colby Jack or Pepper Jack cheese. I like the waffle fries with Polynesian sauce. I know, bad Maggie. And then I do get an Arnold Palmer, but you can get it kind of skinny. You can get unsweet tea and the diet lemonade, which is made with Splenda, or you can get the real thing, but you know, watch out for that sugar. <laughs> Angelina says, oh no, not drunk, you meant drink. It's okay, no problem, we understand. All right, so let's see, I'm gonna share my screen and let's, le let's learn a little bit about the Chick-fil-A Dwarf House, and then I'll show you guys what Lucy and, uh, Lucy and I had. See, now Lucy and me. Happy uh, Tuesday, everybody. I missed you. I hope you're doing well. Been very busy, but just feeling so good and so full. Had a wonderful weekend. Full as in my heart is full. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look at the Chick-fil-A Dwarf House. First of all, let's take a look at the architecture. Now, I think this is absolutely darling. It gives me, as the kids say, it's giving. This is giving me kind of the Hansel and Gretel, um, the Hobbit, the little, um, what do they call it? Little cottage in the woods, little fairy. It doesn't, it doesn't it remind you of like that type of, uh, architecture, right? What does Angelina say? You're a chicken nugget and strawberry milkshake, but you get the peach milkshake when it's in season. Oh my goodness. That sounds good. So you can see here, it already looks different from your standalone Chick-fil-A restaurant. So the Dwarf House has drive through so you don't have to go inside. You can absolutely get everything that's on the regular Chick-fil-A menu at the Dwarf House. You can also go inside and order off the regular menu. You'll see when we go inside, they have two sections. So they have the counters where you walk up just like a regular fast food restaurant and you can eat your food there on the tray and the paper and plastic or you can take it uh, to go. They have that side of the restaurant. Then they have another side of the restaurant where they actually have a hostess stand. And just like a regular restaurant, you will wait to be seated and then they bring you a menu. You order off the menu and they serve you on real flatware, on real silverware. And I think it's amazing, all right? 
That's part of the elegance, you know, slowing down to really appreciate meals. I know y'all, we live in a fast paced culture and sometimes it's grab and go. I understand, believe me, but I wanted to treat Lucy to this. Christina says, yes, I forgot my question already. Let us continue. All right, so we're at the Chick-fil-A Dwarf House. Now, there are only five of these in the Atlanta area, but let's read a little bit and see what we can learn. I don't know what they're going to say here. Um, Molly Wood says, what is it called again? The Dwarf House. Those of you all on Instagram and TikTok, I am sharing my screen if you want to come over to Facebook, YouTube, or Twitter about the Dwarf House. Since the late 1980s, the Dwarf House has provided customers with a historical perspective on Chick-fil-A. Modeled after founder Truett Cathy's first restaurant, the Dwarf House offers sit-down, counter, and drive through service for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. The restaurant offers a typical Chick-fil-A menu plus specialty items including green beans, fried okra, cornbread and chicken salad. Now, wait a minute. So you all can see here from this picture, we've got this lovely couple dining. You can see this, uh, I'm assuming gentleman or young man, hello, my brother's keeper, is eating the regular Chick-fil-A menu, but notice it's on a real plate. Notice there's actually flatware, real metal, love that. Um, but you can get your Chick-fil-A fries, your Chick-fil-A lemonade, and your Chick-fil-A sandwich all from the regular menu. In addition to that, notice this young lady has, looks like a vegetable plate. We have macaroni and cheese, we have fried okra, we have green beans and cornbread. So it's really quaint. I think it's quite charming. If you have time and you're in the Atlanta area and you like Chick-fil-A, I would definitely go give it a try. Hello, Morgie. All right, we're going to continue reading and see what else we can learn. Angelina says it all sounds wonderful. I know you all know we are team greedy over here. We like everything, right? All right, let us continue. All right. Let's look at the history of the Dwarf House. So I don't know which location this is, but it looks similar, but slightly different. You can see it's smaller and uh, doesn't look as new as this one. This looks like the one we just went to. This might have been the one in Forest Park where I took Lucy. So uh, take a mental picture of this. And then when you see my actual pictures, let me know if it's the same. But you all can see here, <laughs> there's actual doors on the side, but this door is like a little kitty door and the kids love it. Even the big kids try to get in there. This side of the restaurant is where you have your fast food side where you can eat on the trays and the plastic. This side of the restaurant is your full di full service dining with uh, the hostess stand. All right, let's check out the history of the Dwarf House. Shortly after opening the first freestanding Chick-fil-A in 1986. So what is that? Almost 40 years now? Yeah. Founder Truett Cathy created a new restaurant that replicated his first restaurant, the Dwarf Grill. Beginning in the late 1980s and through the early 1990s, Cathy oversaw the construction of multiple Dwarf House restaurants located around the metro Atlanta area. So today there's only five of these in Atlanta, and I don't believe it's anywhere else. Unless I'm wrong, you all can let me know. So I'll just park right here so you all can see if you're ever in Atlanta. There's one in Fayetteville. This is the one that I took Lucy to because we were on our way from the airport. We went to the one at Forest Park. There's one in Jonesboro. There's one in Pleasant Hill. Uh, that's a 1570 Pleasant Hill. If you're on the north side and then Riverdale, shout out to Riverdale. Uh, Y'all remember the Risa Tisa <laughs> saga. All right, so you can learn more about it. And of course you can use your you know Chick-fil-A app to order in advance. All right, so let me see what you all are saying in the chat, and then we'll take a look at the menu. All right, so um, I'm, I looked online to see if I could actually find like the proper menu, but I couldn't. Um, so I'm just going to use some online images, not the best, um, but it doesn't look like they have the menu there. So we'll go through um, and you all tell me what stands out. If you were at this restaurant, would you order off the regular Chick-fil-A menu or would you get one of the specialty items? Hello, Bali. Hello, Arik Guru. And hello, uh, Am Connell. Um, and you all will see what I had. All right. So let me go over and share 
my screen. All right, so we've looked at this one. That's the one at Pleasant Hill. If you're ever on the north side of town, let's share here. And all right, let's see if I can make this. No. You don't need the whole article. Let me see if I can get to the picture. Shout out to the people in their blogs. Okay, one second. Hmm. I'm just trying to get this picture. Let's see. What about this one? Oh, man. It's opening up in another tab. It's just taking me to like this whole article that it's great, but I just want to get a picture of the menu so we can zoom in. Dwarf house menu. Yeah, it's very hard to find online. Okay, here we go. Let me do something. I'm just going to download it because when you try to click on it, you know, they put all these ads on it. Open image in a new tab. Let's see if that'll work. How about we save it on the desktop? And let's see if I make it bigger. All right, y'all. The resolution is just really bad. I'm sorry. I'm trying to zoom in. All right, let's just... I'm trying one last thing. All right, let's let's use this. Mm -mm. Yeah. All right, let's just go over to my pictures and video, y'all. Oh, I think I found it. Lisa says, you've been to the one in Forest Park. Yeah, that's where we went. That's where we went. I was just trying to click on some of these images, y'all, but they they have them like buried into, you know how you click on stuff and they have like, I know, I mean, this is how they make their money. They have like all of these um, like pop-ups and just, it's just so busy on the screen and it's just kind of like, all right, let's go with this one. I was just clicking on a few. All right, we've got that one. And this one. All right. Let's go here. All right, let's see. I know it's kind of hard to see. So this is the one in Hapeville. I'll just kind of um, glance over it and then we'll go over to my pictures. So for the kids meals, they have the grilled cheese. They're actually selling the menu, isn't that crazy? They have the grilled cheese. Let me make sure I'm sharing my screen because I've been all over. Okay. All right, which tab do I have? close some of these okay I think we're here 
So you can get any soft drink. Um, you know, we're in the South, so sweet tea is huge. They have something called the Sun Joy. The Sun Joy is basically, um, hello, Morgan. Hello, Smitty. Ah, Smitty and D. Good to see you all. Looks like I'll be seeing you all very soon. So the Sun Joy is what Chick-fil-A calls the Arnold Palmer. So it's a half lemonade, half sweet tea. Very uh, popular, I think, here in the South. Maybe it's popular in other areas, too. So it's kind of the best of both worlds, and I believe made popular by the golfer Arnold Palmer. You can get it full flavor, which is with sweet tea and lemonade with sugar. Or you can get a variety of combinations. You could do unsweet tea and lemonade. You could do diet lemonade and sweet tea. Or if you want to do like a low calorie or no calorie version, you could do um, unsweet tea and diet um, lemonade. And that's what uh, we were talking about earlier. Sometimes they do different flavors. Angelina was saying that she has um, the peach. Sometimes they have the cherry. So you can uh, you can get that. All right, let's see what else um lemonade coffee orange juice all of that good stuff desserts i don't know um they have pies here fried pies the ice dream sundae which is an ice cream sundae milkshakes lemonade coffee i love the chocolate chunk cookie at chick-fil-a it's served warm and then the fudge brownie that's really yummy too oh here it is y'all i'm sorry i'm hurting myself trying to see okay um milkshakes okay we already talked about dessert so let's take a look at the breakfast menu so we were there around uh, about 10 30 ish so you know let me know if you all eat breakfast if you're ready for real food or if you like uh, breakfast i'll get breakfast as long as i can hello goldie and hello monique grandma honey says we dined at a small restaurant this sunday they call the ap and arthur ash oh the arnold palmer they call it the arthur ash i love it let me know if you all have heard of any other names for the uh half lemonade half tea all right so let's take a look here now you all know when you go to your regular chick-fil-a what do they have on the breakfast menu thank you for the hearts usually like chicken biscuits sausage biscuits um oatmeal and those chicken minis right that's pretty much what you can get at chick-fil-a hello Mika. let's take a look at the dwarf house uh breakfast menu and see if um there's anything else on there that we would be interested in all right, so you can get a Chick-fil-A skillet. So those of y'all who like everything scrambled up together, um, you can get your Chick-fil-A chicken and cheese, and then they put a cilantro lime sauce. That sounds yummy. You can get an omelet at the Dwarf House. So if you like your you know, sit-down omelet with chicken and cheese and then your veggies, that sounds really good. Southwest omelet, that sounds like me. I would probably get a Southwest omelet if I were doing omelets. You can get your chicken mini breakfast, which is like a little platter. You can see the platters here. You get a breakfast side and your choice of biscuit or toast. Shout out to the biscuit. Um, and they serve this until 1030. So we just made it in. Uh, your two eggs breakfast. It sounds like IHOP or Denny's, right? Breakfast, uh, two eggs any way you want them. Hello, Hiyakso. Thank you so much for be being here. Uh, Chick-fil-A chicken egg breakfast. That sounds like a yummy platter. City ham egg breakfast. You can get a bacon or sausage egg breakfast and a waffle breakfast. So this is what I had. When I saw the chicken and waffle, I had to have it. Okay, I didn't have to have anything, but that's what I ended up doing. I did the, I did the chicken and waffle um that's kind of like a staple i don't know like after club meal i'm not a club girl i just like the combination of savory and sweet so it is a waffle a proper like full dinner plate size waffle usually it's served with fried chicken on the bone but at chick-fil-a you know it's the filet so it was the chick uh chicken um breast filet and they give you butter and syrup and just get in there and <laughs> enjoy it was so good christina says you're gonna have a chick-fil-a and a biscuit yes i'd love to know um molly wood says save you had me at breakfast save me a plate absolutely my dear hello tennessee hello becky and hello uh Iggy. Let me know if anyone has either never heard of chick-fil-a or they don't have one in your area i'm in atlanta Chick-fil-A is headquartered here. This is the home of the chicken sandwich where the first one originated. And I believe the only place you can get the dwarf house. I'm taking you all virtually with me. Then I'll show you my pictures. 
Um, okay, so you can see here the omelet with salsa. You all can see it served on a real plate. Oh, no, this is what I got, the chicken and waffle. You can get your regular biscuit, bacon, egg, and cheese, sausage, egg, and cheese, city ham. I don't know what city ham is. Someone let me know what's the difference between city ham and ham. Um, biscuits and gravy, egg white grill, if you want to do lower calorie, and then the kids breakfast. So lots of different options there. And then if you're getting the platter, it comes with the side. You can get scattered potatoes, breakfast potatoes, hash browns, grits, and gravy. And I'll go ahead and spoil it. Lucy, shout out to California. She brought me this from Sacramento. It's God's chicken at Chick-fil-A. I know, right? Uh, Lucy wanted to try grits. Welcome to the South. So she, uh, she had her grits. And I know there's some very strong feelings about grits, sweet or savory. I like everything. All right. So look, you can shout out how you like your grits. Uh, Lucy did hers savory, which is salt and butter. Linda says, you've heard of the half and half for part tea and lemonade. Absolutely. So you can call it half, half. Um, you can actually do that at Chick-fil-A when you go through the drive through and they ask you, what would you like to drink? And you say half and half. That's very common here in the South. People know that you're asking for half tea, half lemonade. Now, in the South, if you want unsweet tea like I do, you're going to have to ask for unsweet tea because by default, you're going to get it sweet here. And so you all know on my whole little sugar-free kick, I keep my own sweeteners with me, my sugar-free sugars. But places that brew sweet tea, they also brew unsweet tea, but you're going to get sweet by default, which is different from those y'all from up North. When I lived in Virginia, I was like, what is this brown water? Because <laughs> it is not sweet, but we don't need all that sugar. So, but it's okay. Let's see if there's anything else. All right. So let me know what you all think um, from, oh, let me close some of these tabs. Um, all right. So let me know what you all think here. Let's see, do they have the other? It's a double-sided menu. So I'm going to see if I can find the other page for you. Um, but that's the, uh, Hapeville is the original location. So let me know what stood out. This is the breakfast side. I'm going to see if I can find the other side. Uh, let me know what stood out for y'all as far as the, um, the all day uh, menu or whatever it's called. You know, we're going to look at the real food because some of y'all are team greedy and you like to see the other stuff. I'm just scrolling scrolling uh, is it here they don't make it easy to find probably because um all right yeah there's just a lot they don't make it easy to find probably because they want you to um you know come in and you will you will need to come in for these items i don't believe I could be wrong. Someone let me know. Can you order the Dwarf House menu items um, like to go? Or do you have to sit down and eat it there? I'm curious. I'm curious. All right, let's see. Let me see if I can find the other side. So it's like um, 11 by 17. So it's like a one pager, but it's double sided. Oh my gosh, they got a hidden double stack chicken menu. Oh my goodness, y'all. It's a lot. It's a lot. But yeah, we love, we love Chick-fil-A. And actually I heard that, um, let me see if I can get this one to come up. I heard that... Um, Chick-fil-A had actually like surpassed, I don't know if it was McDonald's or Starbucks or one of them for the, um, how do you say, where the kids, where the teenagers are going, like they hang out at Chick-fil-A more than anything else. So, all right, we're going to go here. Let me just, it's a mess y'all, but I'm going to try and zoom in so we can see forgive all the pop-ups but this is how people make their money so i just have to respect that okay let's share <clears throat> forgive me 
All right, so let's look at the other side and then we'll close out with my pictures. And again, tomorrow will be our uh, graduation recap with Lucy. She's West Coast, so it's still the work day for her. Hello, Brittany. Hello, Nick, Nika, and hello, Sir Groove. Get into the groove. Oh, crap. What did I do? Oh, sorry, y'all. I'm clicking on stuff. Okay, let's take a look at the... Um, everyday menu and I know it's kind of hard to see so for appetizers I don't know y'all probably can't see this but it says battered pickle battered pickles which sounds like um fried pickles that is a thing here in the south I know it sounds crazy but fried pickles are actually if you like pick pickles they're like another combination of like if you like salty over sweet they're just, you know, battered up and fried. So you get the fried crispy bits and then you get that salty pickle on the inside. It sounds weird, but people like to dip it with ranch. Oh my gosh. Now I'm starting to get the pop-ups. I knew this was going to happen. The condemned says, is that pie? Yes. And I think you saw on the dessert menu, they sell the whole pie, not just the slice. Becky says, your teeth are just beautiful. Thank you, sweetheart. I like Chick-fil-A, but you don't love it like most people. Yeah, look, at the end of the day, y'all, it's fast food. I'm just sharing this because uh, you'll see I wanted to take Lucy here. She's from California. Hello, Eli lady, and hello, Yushe. But yeah, some people like burgers over chicken. Feel free to shout out if, if you eat fast food. If you don't eat fast food, that's fine, too. Y'all know I'm not the food police. Some of y'all like In-N-Out. Some of y'all like Chick-fil-A. Some of y'all like Arby's. What is your go-to fast food uh, that you're? it's a yes every time? All right, let's continue. Then we'll go to my pictures. So you can get appetizers there. Appetizers, because you're being served. Let's see what else. Here we go. Some of these tabs, oh my goodness. I don't know if I'll ever do a blog. It's just so many ads. Okay, I think we're here. Yikes. Okay. So this is nice, loaded Southern Chick-fil-A waffle potato fries. So loaded fries, those of you all who like French fries with, what do they put on there? They drizzle ranch, they put, I don't know, bacon, cheese or whatever. Maybe they um, put chicken on it. It says crispy waffle potato fries topped with bacon crumbles, a si signature pimento cheese sauce, and our famous pressure cooked nuggets. Oof, that sounds yummy. All right, so for platters, okay, so now you're talking about your actual, like, entree. You can get your famous, your regular Chick-fil-A sandwich, spicy deluxe. That's me. I'm spicy deluxe. Oh, my God, y'all. This is, I don't want to, I'm frustrated. Uh, a grilled chicken sandwich if you want to eat something lighter. A grilled club. Add your lettuce, bacon, and tomato. A giant burger. Now, this is interesting because you cannot get a burger at Chick-fil-A. I don't believe they actually serve beef at Chick-fil-A, hence the whole thing with the cows. Eat more chicken. You all know their, their little slogan. Hello, official. Hello, Sande. And hello, Ashante. But at the Chick-fil-A Dwarf House, when I was coming up, you could get a T-bone steak. You could actually get steak and eggs at Chick-fil-A. Now they have a burger on the menu at the Dwarf House, so that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see what else, and we'll finish this one off. Um, let me scroll up a little bit. Okay, so you can get a giant burger, a grilled cheese sandwich for our vegetable terrians, or maybe any kiddos who don't want any meat, that's fine. A midnight ham and cheese. I have no idea what that is. Chicken salad sandwich. I heard that's also unique to the Dwarf House. You can't get, I think they took off chicken salad at the regular Chick-fil-A's, but you can still get it at the Dwarf House. Christina says you're getting the spicy deluxe. I love that too because it gives you the spicy chicken filet, but then you have the cool and crisp like lettuce, tomato, and all of that. Oh, so good. Hello, Lapone. Thank you so much for being here. Kadem says nowadays it's honey grow or Dixie picnic in this part of the Northeast. I'm not familiar. You'll have to let me know. All right, let's see what else. Chicken salad, grilled, grilled chicken melt. That sounds good. That sounds like a panini. If you like like a hot sandwich, like a toasted sandwich, that's what that sounds like to me. You can get your classic nuggets, your grilled nuggets, or your chicken strips. So that's uh, that's familiar. What else do they have at the Dwarf House? Hello, ghost. <laughs> Thank you for being here. So your sides, you can get waffle fries. We know that. You can also get fried okra, fried okra at the um, uh, Dwarf House. 
Sweet potato souffle, shout out to the South. You can get sweet potato as a side. Hello, kale crunch if you want to be healthy. Green beans, healthy coleslaw, crispy sprouts. I don't know what that is, but it sounds like I want to try it. Greedy. Hello, Margaret. My name is Margaret. Hello, Tone Touch. Um, and then it's cut off, but you can see cornbread. So you can get cornbread as a side at Chick-fil-A. And again, you have a waitress that is waiting on you. You literally just come in like any restaurant. They ask you how many in your party. They sit you down. They bring your water. You all will see my pictures. They bring out everything and they actually serve you on real surf where Lucy was like, oh my goodness. I said, I know. Isn't it so cute? Kim K is here for the fried okra. I know, right? Shout out to the South. I love fried okra. <laughs> Clearly, it's a problem. Okay, focus, Maggie. Uh, and then your specialty size, shout out to the upgrades. Y'all know we like the deluxe. <laughs> you can get macaroni and cheese, Greek yogurt parfait, a fruit cup. I did get fruit mainly for the color because the chicken and waffles is all brown and brown. That's what I wanted. Oh, my Lord. Um and then create your own vegetable plate. So that's nice. If you're not here for the meat, this is your vegetable plate with three sides. So you could just um, choose this. You could get waffle fries. What is that, Brussels sprouts or that? Oh, crispy sprouts. That's the fried Brussels sprouts. That looks yummy. Green beans, mac and cheese, cornbread. Oh my gosh, y'all look at all this. And then lastly, you can get salads, a grilled market salad, spicy Southwest salad, lunchtime trio which is your sandwich, salad, and soup. Now that sounds nice if you want everything greedy. Uh, chicken noodle soup and then a grilled chicken cool wrap. All right, so I'm gonna close um, I'm gonna close this tab. We're gonna move over to my pictures because I don't like all these pop-ups and I hope I didn't mess myself up. So we're gonna go, we're gonna close out with my pictures, but wanted to just kind of introduce you all to the dwarf house again. It is a replica of the first the first Chick-fil-A was not a drive through It was actually a dine-in, the Dwarf Grill. Hello, M.A. Thank you so much for being here. Only available here in Atlanta. And I'm one of those people, when I travel to a place like when I go to Sacramento to visit Lucy, I want to see and do and eat what they do over there. Why would I go over there and get fried chicken? Unless it's really good. I don't know. What do y'all eat in California? Sushi? So, um... Whenever I travel someplace, I like to eat the local fare. We've talked about that. I got a lot of travel coming up, so you all stay tuned. The little Philippians will be in Egypt, will be in London this summer. Um, so yes, yeah, so um, I wanted to to have Lucy experience it, and she loved it. And just another like um, unsolicited, you know, teachable moment. It doesn't take a lot, ladies. And I know there's just like a lot of people talking about, well, I won't eat at this restaurant or I don't eat at that restaurant. Lucy and I were so happy to just first meet each other in public. I mean, in person, in public, but that's fine. And sit down and just catch up. What we tell the ladies in the finishing school, when you are dining with others, here's your unsolicited lesson, and then we'll move on. It's never about the food. When you dine with others, it's about the connection, the conversation. It's about the memories and the moment, right? Hello, Rodney says, when in Rome. So don't make a big deal. If you really have to have that special thing, take yourself there or go with someone who really cares about it like you do. Excuse me, but it can be something very modest. I think it would be a great like date night for little for like teens or you know, even adults, I would absolutely go back. All right. So let's close out with the pictures of the dwarf house. All right. So let's see here. Okay. So there's me, Lucy and Serena. Serena also is a a uh, graduate of the finishing school. She's only 18. So mama bear wanted to make sure she stayed close. She stayed in the uh, in the guest house with Lucy. And so Miley was actually supposed to fly in that morning, but her flight got delayed. So I wanted to make sure all my ladies were taken care of. Some of the ladies had family here in the in Atlanta. Some wanted to get their own hotel, but uh, I wanted to make sure that I took care of those who, you know, were coming here for the first time and, you know, didn't know anybody. Molly Wood says, fun fact, Chick-fil-A sandwiches were first served at Waffle House. Now, I did not know that. Hmm. Okay. 
So um, you all can see this is the entrance and you see the door behind us. So I'm trying to take a selfie. There's the little kid's door. So we're kind of crouched down. And honestly, I remember being a big kid and still trying to bend, <laughs> bend my back to get in that door. It's just a fun little piece of nostalgia. I know I had a storybook childhood, but I love sharing this kind of stuff with you all. All right, so you can see we're standing outside. Um, you can see there's Serena and Lucy. So you can see the little kitty door behind and it's a real door. It actually opens up. All right, so pick them up from the airport. Long travel day. Let's get something to eat. <laughs> So there's Lucy. She just loved it. She was so, she was like, oh my gosh, this is so exciting. She's never seen anything like it before. And Lucy is beautiful at 57. She is my big sister now. And I want to be like her when I grow up. Okay. So we walk inside. So now we're inside the foyer and you can see the architecture here. I'm laughing. Let me turn the sound down. All right. So you can see the architecture here. There's our door. So you can see it's um, very much like the Hobbit or just those like, I don't know what this design style is. Maybe some of y'all do, but um, we just took time to really appreciate and take a look at, um, at everything and just appreciate everything. Oh my gosh, y'all. Stuff is moving. All right. All right, so now we're going in. I know I'm moving kind of fast. Let me slow this down. So Lucy and I are giggling. So you can see there it says, please wait to be seated. So you all saw, oh, I wasn't sharing my screen. Okay. So you all saw when you come in, there's a counter in front of you. To the left is the fast food side where you can go and order all your Chick-fil-A stuff. They give it to you in the plastic sack. You can either take it to the tables to eat or you can take it to go. They also have two lanes of drive through so you don't have to be bothered with any of this. You can place your mobile app order, go through the drive through and pick it up. However, if you want to dine in and be served, as you'll see here, when we walk in and go to the right, I know to the right, the Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, it does remind you of that. So there's a hostess stand here. Let me close this. There's a hostess stand. So you can see this is the, um, we're going to the side here. So you can see they have booths and you've got somebody kind of taking your order. So you can get a table, you can get a booth and um, be served. All right. Y'all, I'm just excited. All right, so she asked us table or booth. So we asked for a booth. Hello, it's a Jada. So you can see here, shout out to the South. Also, Coca-Cola is headquartered here. So we got our ketchup, we got our salt and pepper, and we have our Coca-Cola vase <laughs> because why not? All right, so there's Lucy. She's so excited. Let me see if she's saying anything. Oh, is this fine? Lucy? <laughs> okay, so just... Two old ladies having a good time. Okay, so now they're giving us the menu. So I just did the struggle bus to find this online. So you all see it's basically the 11 by 13 and it's the double-sided menu. One side is, I think they do breakfast all day or something like that, or they have part of the menu where it's breakfast all day. And then the other side is your um, like lunch and dinner menu. All right, so they're giving us our menu. Um, all right. So we already went through this online. So we're just looking at it and trying to decide what we would like, but I gotta love getting a menu. Hello. <laughs> All right, so I ordered a coffee. So you can see here, I have a proper cup. Now they did serve it with the spoon inside. Okay. Proper etiquette is we wouldn't serve it with the serveware, all, the flatware already inside, but look, I'm happy. I have hot coffee that I can actually drink in a mug instead of a takeaway cup. So I'm very excited about that. And of course they bring out the creamers and all the stuff that you need. Okay, so I have my uh, coffee um, and I can't remember what, what Lucy got to drink, but I was very happy. I've been driving, making the airport run. Okay, so you all can see here, got my coffee, <laughs> my sugars, my creamers, whatever you would like. Maybe someone ordered a water. Or maybe they just brought it. I can't remember. All right. So I ordered a fruit cup. And. Oh, it looks like it stopped right there. Okay. So you all know when you go to Chick-fil-A, if you want to um, 
as a side, okay, those are the grits. That's what it was. If you want to, as a side, you can get regular fries. They also have the kale salad. You can get the fruit cup. Um, I don't know what else they have for side items. Let's be honest. We always get fries, right? If you don't get fries, that's fine. Hello, KD. Oh, we got Gillis in the house. Hello, my dear. So uh, you all know that the fruit cup comes in that little like paper uh, container with the uh, plastic lid on it, but they actually serve it on a plate. Love that. And then um, grits are not available at Chick-fil-A through the regular menu. But since we were at the dwarf house, uh, Lucy actually wanted to get grits. So that was very exciting. Grits. Mm -hmm. And we've already talked about that. I don't know if y'all are sweet or savory but uh she likes her grit savory all right so love the presentation all right so we have our jellies are they served it with the spoon inside it's fine get over it maggie um so just capturing everything all right so i got a question mollywood says after your weekend what will you do differently next time you host this event omg so many things um it went really really well come back tomorrow because we are going to do Telling you all now, tomorrow, 9 p.m. Eastern, Lucy and I will do our Wednesday collab. We're going to skip Risa Tisa for this week, and we're going to do the recap. I'll give you all a little sneak peek, a little sneak peek since you all are in here. We are going to do a recap of, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, the finishing school graduation you can see the ladies all came out to get their trophies i am so so excited so much more so much more so much more um there's a lot we would keep we would keep the three-day weekend happy hour open to the public graduation our guests and their plus one and then uh afternoon tea just for the ladies um i'll tell you one thing because i've already made plans uh next time I have, I'm going to have like a personal assistant or like an event planner because I don't do this in real life. I just really wanted to spoil the ladies and they said they had a wonderful time. Some of them are watching, but it's really hard to like plan it, execute it, um, make content for you all and actually be in the moment and be present. And, you know, people are messaging the phone, hey, I'm running late or which location or whatever. I mean, it just things happen the day of. And so now we have a blueprint of what to do. It went really, really well. But I want to outline that and hand it off to somebody, rinse and repeat, make it happen. <laughs> so we're definitely going to do that next year. But yeah, this is the first annual, y'all. We're just getting started. It was wonderful. Y'all are looking forward to that tomorrow. Gillis is smiling. Gillis wants the whiskey tasting. Of course she does. Um, yes, Paulina says, do you do Zoom one-on-one -on -one sessions for femininity and coaching? I do. Um, teachable moments with Maggie.com. If you don't see the link there, because sometimes I pull it down just because there's one of me and there's a lot of y'all, but I'll do it on request. Uh, I do offer one free session and then you can decide if you want to continue. Um, inbox me because after the stream, I lose the chat. So inbox me either on TikTok, hello, B. Scott, hello, Devon, uh, or Maggie, the substitute teacher or Maggie, the substitute teacher at gmail.com. And I'll send you the link to book. Okay. Focus. So where were we? Grits and, um, yeah, so grits and Lucy said they were good. I didn't eat any grits. I got enough carbs with the chicken and waffle. All right. So there's my fruit cup. So you all know the Chick-fil-A Chick -fil fruit that you get in your fruit cup. You got your mandarin, orange slices, blueberries, apple, uh, strawberries, but they put it on a nice plate. So it just feels fancy because why be regular all when right. you can be extra? Okay. So Serena is a carnivore, which means she only eats like protein products. So she was able to get the platter without any like hash browns or any of that stuff on it. And they were very accommodating. So Serena just got bacon and eggs, bacon and scrambled eggs. And she said it was really good. So you can absolutely customize it and get what you like or take it off. Um, Gillis, uh, Lucy said the grits were really good. I think she packed them up and warmed them up the next day, but she said they were great. Hello, UFO Kamikaze. Good to see you here. All right. So that's for Serena, our carnivore. So she had her bacon and eggs. So Lucy, uh, looks like she got an omelet. 
Yes. So Lucy looks like she got the omelet platter that looks like chicken and egg omelet. And it came with toast on the side. And of course, it came with like butter and jelly so she could make it however she liked. So with the platter, you get like your main thing and then you can get toast or I don't know. What else did they have? Cornbread, biscuits. It's a lot. And then she got, oh, that's right. Lucy got orange juice to drink, all right? And we're drinking out of actual, um, I was going to say glasses, but y'all know when you go through the drive-thru, they give you this right here. You can pour it in a glass. It's the little things. It means something to me, all right? So now I'm the only one waiting. We got our um, bacon and eggs, our omelet, and I'm waiting on my chicken and waffle, and here it comes. All right. So I am very excited. I got my fresh waffle it was warm and crispy and then this is a chick-fil-a filet uh, breast it comes with real syrup and of course butter packets so you can make it your own so i was very excited to dig into this chicken and waffle the fruit is for <laughs> research purposes but oh wonderful that looks amazing Ooh, thank, that looks you. Mm -hmm. thank you mm. all right thank this is not a sugar-free, low-carb day. No, it wasn't. And I had the Arnold Palmer, so you all can see here. It looks like tea, but it's a lighter color. Lucy's getting hot sauce for her, um, uh, I think it's uh, salsa uh, for her omelet. So that's an Arnold Palmer, half lemonade, half sweet tea. And I also got a coffee because why not, right? <laughs> Hello, Harvito. So that was pretty much it. Usually for the dining documentaries, y'all, there's me and Lucy. Usually for the dining documentaries, I like to do like a three course for you all. I like to get an appetizer. I like to get an entree. And then I like to get dessert and go through all of that with you all. But this is just a quick one. Lucy had just flown in. This was a travel day. She did the red eye from 11 p.m. California time. Thank you for my um, sweatshirt. Um... 11 p.m. the Thursday night before and then she arrived at like nine in the morning after a connection and luggage so she was tired um, and she was hungry so I had to feed her Christina says nice yeah absolutely Lauren is here she says Maggie I'm glad to catch you all live yes we just had the Maggie Lou meetup the next meetup is going to be our Maggie um, cruise on Virgin 18 and up only. Lauren is our travel agent. So Lauren, please drop the link. Lauren took care of us for our first annual Maggie Lou meetup. I'm sorry, first annual Maggie cruise. And we're going to do it again. Virgin. It's going to be in November. So this is the schedule. I'm telling you all now, there's going to be two events per year. Every year in the spring, in April, we're going to have the Maggie Lou graduation and Maggie Lou um, meet up again. So next year, save the dates, April 4th, 5th, and 6th, we'll have another meetup, graduation and tea. The graduation and tea is just for the students. So we'll teach again in the fall. If you want us to celebrate you the same way, you can join the finishing school, all ladies. And then everybody 18 and up can cruise with us out of Miami. So Lauren is our travel agent. She's taking care of all of that. Please go to the website that she just dropped. Get all the information. I'm booked and I will see you all there. Everybody saying hello. Let's see if there's anything else. So there's me and Lucy. Very excited. She had just arrived. So this is what I had. So you all can see here, I've got my chicken and waffles. I would give this for fast food. I would give this a, I would say like a 9.5 out of 10. Um, that fruit, you can see the apples were a little bit tart, but look, <laughs> we are at Chick-fil-A. Harvito says, who is Maggie Lou? I am Maggie. Lucy is Lou. So together, one of y'all named us Maggie Lou because we're like Thelma and Louise, Ebony and Ivory, Cheech and Chong. So that's who we are, Maggie Lou. It's just a nickname for Maggie and Lucy. But this waffle and chicken, 10 out of 10. Really good. It sopped up the syrup. I had my Arnold Palmer, some butter, some coffee. Y'all, we sat down there. We had a leisurely breakfast, slathered it with butter, and then you know, it wasn't a sugar-free day. Hello, micro bakery. I put that stuff all over and it was so good. I wouldn't have done so that was It's always good to have a mentor. That was our brunch at the Chick-fil-A Dwarf House. Some of y'all knew about it. 
Some of y'all didn't know. So if you're ever in Atlanta, there's only five locations here in Atlanta. And this is the last picture. I'll just let y'all sop that up. Deron says it's Chick-fil-A. So naturally it's great. Christina is saying yum. Absolutely. So if you're ever in Atlanta, um, of course, we've got plenty regular Chick-fil-A's you can drive through. But the Chick-fil-A Dwarf House also has the dine-in service. So thank you all so much for um, being here for this dining documentary. Still recovering from this weekend, but it was incredible. So again, tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern, the ladies from the finishing school descended to Atlanta and we were able to have our happy hour um, and our graduation and our tea. So I will be doing lots more recaps for you all as the pictures come in. I hired a professional photographer for every event and I don't rush them. I pay them their asking price and I let them do their work. So as soon as the pictures come in uh, with permission, I will share them with you all so you can see what we were up to. All right. So yes. Oh, Christina says blueberry waffles. Oh my God, that sounds good. Now I want to make some. All right. So I'm going to let you all go because I think I'm going to crash tonight. Um, a big travel day, but uh, I'll be here every uh, day. If you're new here, I do stream every day, usually dinner time, East Coast. Um, but when I collab with Lucy, since she's on the West Coast, it's a little bit later to allow her to finish her day. Thank you all for the likes. Thank you all for the hearts. I missed being here with you, but we had a wonderful, wonderful uh, graduation weekend. Thank you to all of our sponsors. You know who you are. Some have asked to be anonymous. Some, you all know them, and they made um, this weekend phenomenal and allowed me to spoil the ladies in so many ways. So I'm so grateful. I know y'all. Okay. Let's go ahead and dismiss. You're welcome, my dear Gillis. We've got, um, TikTok. Thank you all so much for the hearts. TikTok, TikTok, TikTok. See you tomorrow at 9 PM for the graduation recap. Those pictures have arrived and I think, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You all have seen Okay, so thank you. Classes dismissed. TikTok. Thank you, Instagram. Be back here tomorrow at 9 p.m. It's already set up. Turn on your reminders. All right. Classes dismissed. All right. And then everybody else, Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter. I will see you all tomorrow night at 9 p.m. And we will go over the recap collab with me and Lucy so you can hear from both of us. All right. Y'all have a good night. Classes dismissed.